This just looks so damn good. Because yes, with the rise of better VR headsets, hardware and games, there are times that I am completely immersed in a VR game as they just look so damn realistic. In this video, we go over some super ultra realistic VR games that you can play right now. First we have Digital Combat Simulator and look at this! The rain droplets on the windows here, the sound effects, the detailed cockpit. We are now in a F-14 Tomcat on a aircraft carrier. And yes, you can learn to fully operate this plane and take off from the carrier as well. Here is a plane taking off right now in front of us and if you tell me this was real life I would believe you. Just look at this! Look at this! The thunder in the background! Absolutely phenomenal! Looking to the left here you can see the reflections of the lights here, the yellow ones. Taking off here just look... Ah, woo. I mean seeing this you want to play this in VR, you don't want to play this on flat screen. Another amazing scene here in VR, up in the skies in the F-14 Tomcat, about to refuel here as you can see. And this is much easier in VR as the depth perception is it's quite it's much better in VR than on flat screen here. There we are hooked. Fantastic. And we jump from one realistic game into the other. This is Kayak VR Mirage. And as you can see another insanely looking realistic game. I can tell you the water physics in this game absolutely are fantastic. The different sceneries here as you can see we are now kayaking in the Antarctic. And this VR game is just pure meditation. As you can see, ice rocks are falling down in the background. I mean, it's kind of chilly, so let's switch the scenery. There we go, we are now somewhere in the Caribbean. And just look at these trees. Again, the water physics doing its work as well. And on flat screen, it already looks good. But I can tell you one thing. If you are there in the VR headset and you are actually in this place, it's breath taking i can tell you we are now kayaking in australia and so the game offers different sceneries and these sceneries are not just kayaking around in water there is a lot of birds flying around there's ice bears penguins and turtles if you kayak through the jungle so there's much to see if you are playing kayak vr mirage up next, Gran Turismo 7 for the PSVR 2 and I could choose a lot of other racing games but the fact that you can walk around the car in the PSVR 2 headset is just absolutely fantastic. Just look at this racing here without the HUD so I would always advise to just get rid of the HUD. Man, this looks like real life I would say. Also the races during the rain are absolutely fantastic. Hearing the rain droplets hitting the window is fabulous here we have another race at night and yeah i mean you can still see the markers i could have disabled them but this is gaming on a next level and of course connecting a steering wheel to the playstation 5 makes this a super immersive experience especially because if you bump your car into another car your headset is also vibrating so it's it's just fantastic and we are not done yet, this is Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 in VR with the Pimax Crystal which guarantees a very sharp image and just look at this, flying over Manhattan here, this is the ultimate flying experience I can tell you. Here is some footage of last weekend flying over Rio de Janeiro at sunset. And doing this in VR with a good VR headset, a good computer rig, I don't understand why you would want to play this on a flat screen. Because once you have experienced Microsoft Flight Simulator in VR, or like any other games I have mentioned, you don't want to go back. And over here, if I look up, we are going to land in the water at Bora Bora, also a fantastic scenery. And again, like Kayak VR Mirage, Microsoft Flight Simulator in VR is also just pure meditation. I love to come back from a long day of work, fire up Microsoft Flight Simulator, choose a plane, choose a very nice destination and just relax my mind. And I can advise anyone whose mind is a little bit all over the place at the end of a long work day to just pick up the VR headset, choose a nice location and just fly for 30 minutes. Here we are flying over the Alps in a beautiful plane. Well, I think I have said enough about Microsoft Flight Simulator. It looks absolutely fantastic, especially if you have the correct headset and the correct computer rig. And last but not least, I also want to include Aerofly FS4, a flight simulator that graphically is maybe not the most realistic, but what is, is that you can do everything with your hands. So you don't need a expensive joystick or whatever. You can just switch all the buttons, uh, as you can see here, with your own hands. You can press them, 
switch them, turn them, and yeah, you can even grab the joystick in the plane and just maneuver the plane around, which is absolutely fantastic and really makes you feel immersed uh, as a pilot. I am sure I have forgotten something in this list, so please let us all put in the comments down below what you think is the most realistic VR game and I will be very happy to play them. Now, if you want to keep up to date with the latest VR updates, then subscribe to my channel. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.